seriously like over talented uh, groups of individuals ever. Look it up if you like to see how much of like the top ten was just Tri-State. It's kind of wild. Um, but yeah, we're going right into our next set. This is LRA Start versus King Ark, Wolf versus Mega Man. Yeah, so this matchup is going to be you know, pretty interesting. We'll see how it ends up shaking out. Immediately, these two are out for blood, going in each other's faces. King Ark being able to, oh, actually gets taken for a ride on the fair plane from one, from the middle of PS2 all the way to the edge. Yeah, look and at look at Sheik. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a Sheik with a forward that does like seven times the yeah. amount of damage. Because why not? Oh, speaking of good forward errors, there's that flame slash from Mega Man. A decent spacing tool, but against Wolf, I think it's a little bit like Wolf's hitboxes are just so good. Yeah, those are some meaty hitboxes. But uh, we got Z drop combos out of shield. Uh, again, that is super duper fast. That is frame four Z drop out of shield. Uh, it does. It is drop behind Mega Man, so it's not as like useful as a character that would have it in front of him. But you can see right there, Mega Man Z drop uh, uh, metal. Oh. Okay, you live. Oh. I was about to say. Uh, mm -hmm. Come on, you, you get give less us the on. Okay. All right, you know. So I think in terms of these players, who would be uh, favored to win? King Ark is the most likely expected to be the victor at the end of this. For what uh, it's worth, LRA Star has performed incredibly well recently. So I, you know, I don't want to undercut that. And King Ark has been at least mildly inactive. So I think honestly, both these players fairly evenly matched. King Ark obviously that reputation, that legacy. Um, but uh, LRA Star's been on the come up. Yeah, honestly, uh, you wouldn't think that uh, King Oak has been inactive based on the way he's playing right now. Look at this, just jumping all around, being so careful to avoid LRA starts moves. Finally finds that back air for some solid stage positioning. Can it convert into the kill? Just barely not. I love that. Jumps from the ledge and grabs the Metal Blade that time. Not going to get hit by it over and over again. Though, though uh, finally that Flame Slash is going to be enough to take it. Uh, by the way, it's something you always have to respect. Mega Man is the only character in the game that can actually put you in a bad spot while you're invincible and when respawning. Okay, and right now we're seeing that the, just that the prowess from King with this Mega Man. Obviously, we don't have a whole lot of other Mega Mans in the state of New York, and certainly none to the level of King Ark. Um, so this is a matchup that LRA Start might be a little bit unfamiliar with, and it might be showing a little bit. Oh, Wolf has big, big old hands. <laughs> I mean, logistically, it makes sense. Well, yes, he's a wolf. He's a wolf. Wolves are known for their ability to grab. Yes. Oh, you're thoughts. dead? Oh, oh, you missed the, the heck out of that. That was such a good mix-up. You got What was the right way to DI that? Ow. But still, Ow? You, got, you got smixed. <laughs> Yo, let me get it. I blinked. I genuinely... He wasn't even that... So it's, what percent was he? So he, it's it's that mechanic in Ultimate where like if two hitboxes hit at the exact same time, uh, their knockback angles combine. So like the up the up B, or rather the up air knockback angle is pretty straight up, and obviously fair is pretty sideways, kind of diagonal sideways. So the angle was diagonal up, which I don't think King or uh, LRA Star was fitting at all, and DI'd in and just exploded. <laughs> Oh man! All right, well that pretty good. Uh, pretty good showing from King Ark right there. Let's see if he can repeat that, or whether we can have some adaptations on uh, on the part of LRA Start. Did he do a color swap? Oh, might have done so. All right, a little bit of pressure to start off uh, from King Ark though. That is a huge platform pressure that up there. Yeah, we hadn't really seen Laser come out. We just saw the first one at work, but I mean, I feel like there's a reason why he hasn't really been trying for it. Look at this. Okay, the, I mean, you get a lot of mileage off from good, just Wolf's good normals. Trying to close the gap here, but, oh, he's just not quite approaching at the right time, and he takes a hefty amount of damage for it. Like, not, these these hits from uh, Mega Man, they don't necessarily hurt individually like Wolf's do, but King Ark is so good at chaining one into the other, and I don't think that was a, uh, an intended, intentional side B. Well, I want to say that was maybe a, a laser and then move forward and... The, it it was, got buffered, I think it was, so. yeah, exactly, the buffer, which, not to understate, that's a thing that, like, is just an unintended benefit to Mega Man's toolkit, is he has all these moves that just kind of nick you just a little bit, and, oh my god, that's that true. wasn't a nick. That's true. Uh, yeah, that, that that falling back air, the, the, the first two hits do combo into the uh, up tilt. So, especially against, I believe, fast falls, it is more effective against. So, it'll kill. And that'll be uh, King Ark after like a really even first stop, uh, being in a really good position here. Yeah, okay. 
Lots of back and forth right now. Finally putting him in the corner. That F-Tilt's not enough without any rage on LRA start. It could not deal with it. And, ooh, I love these creative, cheeky ways of turning disadvantage into an advantageous position. King Ark once again gets the hit, gets the re-grab. Another up air. We've already seen what those up airs can do if they get linked together. But LRA start only taking about 46% here. What are you doing? You just jumped up? Okay, fine, I guess. Sure. <laughs> That's gonna be a stock up. I'm already started as other least can be able to, you know, not, not take too much uh, extra damage that stock around. 67% is not the worst situation to be in. Um, and as well, I just want to see LRA, you know, maintain that center stage, utilize that laser. Obviously, we've seen a lot of jumps come out from King Arc, but like laser opens up a lot of uh, Wolf's ability to anti air, you know? It's, it starts forcing th those 50 50s. Yeah, and I actually like this adaptation from LRA start. That sure you can not actually getting the sweet spot. That was massive because that would have I'm pretty sure that would have killed. With some extra life in him, he could get at the very least a solid amount of damage. Every one of Wolf's hits just hits so hard. He go, we we and he went for the hardest hit of them all. The forward smash not quite connecting. Down smash not gonna do it either. He's just a little bit too hungry for those meteor hits. And as a result, he didn't get that much extra damage. He's and I have to take King Art out right now, and oh, barely no, able no, to No survive. double jump here, by the way. Okay, gonna be able to make it back, though. Um, and that's the thing, I, I have noticed that King Art is doing let's drop double jump option um, quite a bit. LRA Start seems to be catching on with that back air. It might be a little bit too late here, but we'll have to see. Gonna need a big finish here on this stock from LRA Start, but that's gonna be a lot of damage for King Art. Okay, nice use of the neutral air to beat out the projectile. But LRA start, he can't take too much more damage. In the end, another dash attack. That's the second stock he's taken with a dash attack so far this game. King Ark just not respecting that burst option. And as a result, now things are one stock apiece. Ooh! You know, we haven't really seen a completed edge guard yet, but that is something that is always on the table. Every time LRA start ends up off stage just like this. But good job avoiding those back airs, those harder hits that might actually end him. Ooh, we'll miss him putting the dash attack there. I'm not gonna be able to get uh, the initial combo, but I'm taking a decent amount of damage off of it anyway. 51% for for uh, LRA start is certainly a start to getting this game back. Gonna need to see again that good neutral. Keep uh, drift back lasering. Um, force Mega Man to start jumping over you. All right, yeah, he's doing a lot of jumping in his face. Catches one with the forward air, back air, almost does it outright. I think he was not expecting it with DI poorly. The second back air is yeah. actually <laughs> enough to do it. We have a game three. Stop jumping for Celery Start. Stop. Stop, everyone. This is for everyone that plays against him. This man, he's going to back air your jump from ledge. He's going to do it. Every person at least once gets hit by it when they jump from ledge. Because what he eats always what he's looking for. And it's so good because Wolf back air is so ludicrously strong that, like, if you get hit, you just you just die. I mean, if you want to talk about risk-reward, how yes. horrifyingly skewed of a, of a, of a scale that one is. And it, it's yeah. going to pay off for a late start, though. Going to be going into game number two with a 1-1 one -one tie. We're going right uh, back. This, this is game number three, I believe. Oh, three. My bad. Yeah, it is 1-1. One -one. This is, this is, it all comes down to this. We've seen some great adaptations on LRA Start's part. But the question is whether he can continue that here because King Arc is definitely a player that has so much adaptation potential in himself. Oh, but he's kind of getting uh, tossed around at the start here. 79% and really poor DI putting him way deep off stage. Yeah, you can not take a place for his wolf. You are going to get hit by that down, smash all that F tilt. Okay, 81% on King Arc. He's the one who's forced to approach right now. He goes in, but doesn't really get anything. They're kind of going back and forth right now. Great job. Air dodging away from that up smash. Avoids what could have possibly been a devastating combo. And now, both of them are pretty deep into the red. Oh, but one of them's a lot more redder than the other. That's LRA start losing his first stock to King Arc. And now King Arc can maybe play a little bit more patient, play to the lead. He could do that, but also this is a guy that loves to push forward and loves to hit buttons in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> like as Wolf, you have the ability to do that, especially against a character like Mega Man. You know, your, your hitboxes are bigger than his, but you've got to be so careful how you're jumping in. Landing on that up, up air is going to cost you about 15%. Cannot keep doing that. Oh, again, yeah. so many of those V-drop blades have come out in this game three. Oh, he's just running up and shielding with each other. And that's gonna do it. The edge guard finally seen to completion. King Ark is taking a three stock to one lead. This is looking very grim for LRA start right now.
Oh Ooh. gosh. Trying to get the wave land to grab there. Um, crazy stuff. But LRA Star's gonna finally get that punish on the Rising Fair. Uh, gonna need a big second stock here to get this one off. Yeah, this is. I like this King Arc recognizing that LRA Star is looking for a lot more pellets here. Pellet just like hitting him in the face, shutting down all the approaches he wants. And yeah, he's forced to laser, but King Arc is ready for it, dodging it. And he's still having trouble getting in. He's going for these empty landings, and just King Ark is still able to actually shut it down. Finally, a bit of an opening here, but this is the sort of thing where if you get in and get 15%, you took about 20 in the process. Well, here we go. I mean, huge advantage. This is LRA st uh, Start's strongest um, quality here. Yeah, no jump from Muds there. Immediately out of, out of that thing did King Ark. Um, however, though, LRA Star is, is really showing how strong his advantage it is. However, gonna need to get, able to get out of disadvantage to get this game back to an even stock count. Okay, back throw, putting him off stage once more. Choosing to do rush right there. I love that. Using it as kind of a way to change up his movements so that he can cover the ledge even more effectively. <laughs> God dang. Yeah. I mean, Why? Shield was low. Shield was real low. Sure, awesome. but he was also like six feet away. Already? Wow. Wow. Oh, double jump killed Wolf there. Um, yeah, right at the end, you're going to see I want to show this off. Just because um, oftentimes, um, I think it's it's something with Firefox or uh, with uh, Star Fox characters in general. Their double jump does not help them out. I want to pause right here. So you're going to see. LRA start is going to double jump. That pushes Wolf backward. And it's gonna cause him to die. We'll slow it down. If we can, I don't know if we can zoom in all the way to that corner. It might be a little tough to see that from from over there. So in that situation, is it best just to not hit any button? I believe air dodge allows Wolf to survive. But I, okay, so yeah, there's point, a double I'm jump gonna... animation, right? Am I crazy? Did I see that? Yeah, yeah there it is. Yeah, yeah. and that, that does end up killing LRA Star. It may have not yeah. mattered super super a whole lot. Um, you know, could maybe still be on death percent there. But uh, I know for a fact Wolf's double jump does at uh, times uh, force him into the loss zone. So, yeah. man, I've I've heard a lot of misinformation when it comes to the move that you're supposed to hit when being sent it, into the blast zone. It's like so that. different for every character. It's uh, like, yeah, it's like a certain characters if they click a button it, it kills them, but if they click a button it saves them. Like I know for example, um, in Smash Four I think it was like D, uh, DK Fair or something like like DK and Yoshi Fair would kill you earlier, but yes. Sheik Fair would help survive to another yeah. like. 2%. Like like Wario Fair would be like two percent, I think. It's a, it's it's things like that where it's like it's it barely matters, but um, you know in, in specific situations like that one where it looks really close to, to not uh, killing, um, you know, double jump may have ended up hurting LRA Star. Well, I also I, I'm fairly certain that he yeah this po oh this poke this was kind of wild. One look at Wolf. What what is what is my man doing? No, I think he dropped shield. Right? It's not the first frame of shield drop. Ah, uh, is it? He looks, look at him, he's squaring up. <laughs> he's just like, I don't know. That's kind of tough to tell. I don't know if that is Mega Man's shield drop animation. Or whether that's his hit lag animation. Uh, it's one or the other. Um, well, he had the... I, I don't know. I'm looking at where the actual hit connected right there. And if you look at it, like it's, it felt like it... Actually, can we go back to that clip? Because uh, I do want to just... Uh, we'll really do some in-depth detective work here. All right, so... Okay. Uh, so let's, let's move forward frame by frame here. Uh, it's going to be maybe yeah. a little bit about...